And that cop that I almost ran over. Who disappeared as I went into the cutscene. That's, that's nice. Is this the same bar as it is a different one? This is the same bar, isn't it? Over here. No, it's not the same bar. Okay. It's not the same. I'm gonna say this bar has a reputation track. for having criminals in it. Dick or near it. A male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named is Shannon Terry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. All right. All right. There's a hat. Let's see his hat. Pick up his hat. Thank you. Okay, there's something inside, I think. Or is, was that just a clipping texture? I think that was a clipping texture. Yeah, that was a texture, okay. So... Hat. Yep. Nothing special. Okay. Oops. You? I'm trying. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. So, was it an accident? Hmm. Can I move his face this way? This way? Come on. Okay. Huh. He's got a lot of bruises on his face, but nothing really too terrible. On his face, at least. <laughs> his chest, however, is another story. See this? We can notify next of kin. Mm-hmm. That's so sad. Okay, this one. Money. Okay. Cool. Why did he put the money in there? It's supposed to go on the top. This guy doesn't know how wallets work. Alright, this pocket. Does anybody keep stuff in their outside pockets nowadays? Whoa. Patterson has life insurance. Where are our standard veteran care? policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of $10,000 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incar in cap words and cap this new plan Secures your beneficiaries to beneficiaries uh beneficiaries a sum of sixteen dollars. What the fuck indeed? Okay, so that's stupid. Now this hand. I'd be pissed off too, dude. Okay, some scrapes and bruises, some cuts and things. Looks like road rash. Not really. Really bad case of road rash, if it was. So exactly the same on this hand. Mirrored, literally, on the same hand. Okay. Is that it on this, on this person? What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? 
Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Kitty. <clears throat> My voice cracked out when I said kitty. Okay. Should go over to this person and talk to her for a second. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I'm not stepping. I'm come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. I'm stepping on the road. It's all I'm doing. I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your property, dude. Very sorry. I'll have some prints ready for your report if you let me get on with this. Everybody's so rude over here. My God. I just want to see the evidence. I'm following you. No, you come back here. Nope. Come back here. No. 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 I'm trying to see this. Okay. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Wow. So he died there. And then his body flew across the street. That's weird. That must have been some crazy crash. Okay, lady. Let's talk to you. Let's see what you got. It's all yours, detective. Thank you. What about the guy inside? He must have saw something. He has a huge window right there. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. <sighs> Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Is that all you got? Is that it? Truth. Truth. Okay. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Why would she lie about the car? Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Okay. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Um. You look like you're lying completely. That's a nice story, Miss Perry. But it's not what really happened. You think I'm making this up? Wallet, insurance, I don't know. Okay, I don't think so. Looks like I was mistaken. Two? Yep, I was right. Out on us, Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Trying to find work as an actress and things look pretty difficult. No. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. Hey, be nice. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Hmm. Thank you, Miss Barry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Me too, lady. Certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. You keep working on your dreams. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Listen here. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest. No, I gotta talk to you. I gotta talk to you about being nice to people. Okay? Okay? She was a really nice lady. She just wanted to tell us what she wanted to do. That was nice of her to inform us. You gotta be nicer to her. Nicer to the ladies, nicer to the men, nicer to the children and the dogs and the cats. I'm not supposed to talk to you, I'm supposed to talk to this guy right here. I'm Detective no! The LAPD. How can I help? 
Detective. Name would be a good start. Gosh darn it. Inch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Okay. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson home. So you were here when it happened and you were right in front of a huge window, so obviously you saw something. So tell me. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. Mm-hmm. Down. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Fester and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Mm-hmm. Association with victim. Words cannot come out of my mouth right now. Association with victim. Tell me now. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Mm-hmm. I think you're telling the truth. I'm Not pretty good at this now. Customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. All right. Argument overheard? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Mm-hmm. It's what people do. Even nowadays, even though it's not completely in public, do it all over Facebook, all over Twitter, all over everything. <sighs> people are crazy. They just need to stop. But I think you're doubting. I think I'm doubting you. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? All right. Joint business. I'm gonna stop reading forever. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. All right. Um, truth. Oh no! Oh, nope. Leroy plays his cards close to his chest. Got it wrong. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. Mm. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Fan of the who? Excuse me. No sexual talk in this bar. 